Good evening, sisters. Ladies, this is a, a video I'm making especially for you, and it's about let's getting real. We want to get real and we want to know what Yahushua is saying to us and how he wants us to be. And the definition of what we're doing tonight is all about changing. Changing ourselves, changing with the power of Yahushua. Changing how he wants us to be, come. How do we get this change? He has talked to us so much in the scriptures about to get delivered, to become a new person, to get through this, to overcome, overcome the world. So I just want to talk about this tonight and just say how through the scriptures, through this word, what we're going to come up with. And it's very exciting because I want to get real and really, really help in any way that through my witness, what I've done and how how the world is and what it, the effect it has on you and what he, he, Yehusha wants us to be and how he, how he has designed everything brought you to this place if you're watching this well you've come to a place where you you know you've been called and he wants to set you free he wants you to be fr become free everyone in the world wants to be free and change because they're not satisfied with how they are everyone wants to better themselves they want to get out of situations and this is the only way we've come to and I'd just like to get through, let's get real, ladies, let's get real tonight. Because the definition of change is to become different, to undergo a transformation or to pass through a transitional stage. We've got to transition into something new so that we can go with Yahushua. The word in the Hebrew for change, to turn about or over, overturn, something dramatic, to overturn, become, come, be converted every way, in every way, abolish. So that means to get rid of what's there, abolish something, get away from it, cut off, go on forward, grow up. Let's grow up, get over ourselves and stop complaining. To seek, to conceal oneself, that is to let be sought. Let yourself be revealed. That's something I've never wanted to be revealed to people to see what's really like, what I'm really like inside. Under the covers, that's what's there. Inside. So we have to open up so that Yahushua can clean us out and change us. Or mask, change to make diligent. That's strong, to get strong and be diligent. Search, disguise self. Hide, search, search out, search for, to alter, to be and make bitter or unpleasant. And it's not a pretty thing when you try and change. You realise and you face what's there and it's not a pleasant thing. It doesn't look nice. To rebel or resist, to provoke the spirit against the flesh, to revolve around about be about on every side, apply, avoid on every side, remove, turn self to recompense. Recompense means to make amends for harm suffered. And I've hurt so many people just lately, my sister, and I've just felt so bad and Yahushua's hand came on me with a big smack and... That harm that was that was suffered is so cruel. Restitution is to surrender, yield. So let's go into the scripture because those words are pretty strong and it's pretty obvious what change means. It means just to turn right around and, you know, the word sorry, if you're sorry, you change, but to actually do the actual the action for it to put it into your into your life and to go there to turn over become something different 
and people will see there is something different when, once you've done this. In the scripture for change, in Ephesians 4.22 says, You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self. <clears throat> We've been taught this. With regard to your former way of life, put off your old self, being corrupted by its deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like Yahushua in true righteousness and set-apartness. That sounds pretty simple. That sounds pretty straightforward. Sisters, have we got the guts to go there, to really change and go there and get over ourselves to put on the new self to put off being corrupted by the deceitful desires that we choose. Yeah, we get tricked from the thoughts, but we choose those thoughts and we have those desires. So you can't blame Satan. He's just there in your, in your thoughts, but we choose that. In a see, Ephesians 5, 4.15 says, Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is, Yahushua. From him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Well, that hasn't been my experience because I've always wanted to lift myself up and put myself and and fight for supremacy and be on top and be on top and anyone else around I've wanted to be better and that's not supporting every supporting ligament because there's all different parts of the body becoming that one body that whole body Chris was saying it's so difficult to get you guys five people to come together and understand and to know that we're not to judge each other, we're not to lift ourselves up on each other or have anything or want to put, in, put the other down. All that goes on amongst us and I just want to stop myself and not have that because we've got to grow and build ourselves up in love as each part does its work. So we've each got to do our own work for this to happen and take it serious. Sisters, this is how we're to treat each other. This is how we're to treat each other. In Colossians 3.13, bearing with one another and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as Yahushua has forgiven you. Don't take things personal. Let's forgive each other. So you also must forgive. Make allowances for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, Yahushua forgave you, so you must forgive others. And you're damaging yourself more if you're holding anything. That's a dreadful feeling. I've felt that because I've held things and thought, oh, I can't stand I can't put up with that any longer or I can't, you know, taking a right, having a right, putting myself apart and separating myself from Yahushua's word. Sisters, let's not go there. Let's be real and true and forgive each other. Forgiveness is a wonderful thing. <clears throat> so in summary, i just like to bring an understanding of what we've gone through in the Hebrew word about change to overturn and turn around and the scriptures telling us to get free of those deceitful desires. There is, there is corruption, that spirit in our flesh that we need to get rid of and we need to overcome. In summary, I'd just like to, to say Change is the whole point of why Yahushua came to earth, took on flesh, 
changed from Yahuwah to the new creature called Yahusha, born sinless and became our Elohim. This metamorphosis of him coming into the physical world, yet being divine, was a perfect plan. His sacrifice for sin and corruption in the world so that we can be delivered from the control of the self to become a new creation. This is why Yahushua came to earth, for us to be delivered. Delivered from the control of self. Putting off the lusts of the flesh and all corrupt feelings and emotions and going into our metamorphosis to become mature spiritual beings when Yahushua returns. We can become mature. That means perfect. So we can have this before Yahushua comes. We can overcome. His scripture says we can overcome. We are to get our deliverance. I've seen Christopher change dramatically. He has changed dramatically. I've said this before, but while he was going through putting himself off and overcoming, I criticised him constantly, constantly saying, oh, complaining about his fanaticism and towards the way he he wanted to put the truth to every detail in his life, thinking that he was just too sensitive and too extreme. I thought, the scriptures are there, we've got the scriptures, and we've been told what to believe by our peers, the Messianic and Natsram community. We've received Yahushua's name. We were involved with them. So what more do you want? Be satisfied. This is how I felt. Just be satisfied. Just go along with the teachers. That's how, that's how complacent I was. And that's what I was c complaining and angry at Chris about. And yet Chris had an ache in his heart for people to be set free and continually search for the way. As he heard to say, he heard to say and do things ahead of time that would come out and eventuate and would happen. He heard things and he would say them and it would come out and eventuate and happen. Even in an old, our old church, he would say, he would, he would t say a word and that would be exactly what the preacher was going to talk about, the subject. And he would say it ahead of time, before they even started. And this was a constant thing. He was hearing and listening and receiving from Yahushua. And of course, when he did this, I was just so annoyed because it wasn't I wasn't receiving, I wasn't getting stuff. So of course, I didn't believe that he was right. I didn't think it, it was true. He was hearing because I didn't believe, because I wasn't hearing and I was going to prove him wrong. That infuriated me. So I took it out on Chris just by not letting, have, letting him have anything, checking him all the time, trying to catch him out in, his, in anything he did. How can someone who was so wild and so crazy before change and become favourable to Yahushua. How can that person be favourable? That's how I thought. It's not fair. How can he change so dramatically and become that? This is it. Yahushua looks at the heart, his whole personality, his whole character, his emotional state. It transformed. He was delivered. He's overcome. 
as the scripture says, the ones closest to you will betray you. And that's what I did to Chris. Are you so jealous? Because I, I didn't have this happen to me. And I thought, Yahushua, why aren't you giving this to me? And of course, because of my attitude and my heart, Yahushua could see right through me. He was just there in front of me, in my face, I have done this to my husband and made it very hard for him to even even love me, yet he still does. I have tried to stop him because everything he was doing and saying was revealing me and my behaviour. Everything, showing me up, and I reacted to great with great jealousy and hated him for this as Yahushua's flogging hand was on me constantly and I blamed Chris for the flogging when it was Yahushua flogging me and chastising me because I was so wrong and being so cruel now, ladies. Don't do this for your, to your man. Don't do this to anyone. Be real. Give in and just be real. Don't follow what I did because I suffered for so long and went through the most dreadful time of despair and depression and anxiety in my mind, in my heart, and I couldn't even think straight at some times. I've tried to stop Chris because everything he was doing and saying was revealing me and my behaviour was just showing, showing me up. I reacted in jealousy. I hated him for his, for all of this. He was just there constantly. He has been the process, this has been the process I've gone through to prove that Yahushua is real. I had to go through this because of my stubbornness and my hatred and my jealousy. You don't have to go through this, sisters. Girls, don't go through this the way I did because the time is short. This has been the process. Actually giving him, Yahushua gave Chris all these wonderful new revelations. The process that to prove that Yahushua is real and truly speaks through his servant, Chris. I believe that and I, I find that it is just so amazing because he hears and he has wisdom. For anyone that comes near him, he hears Yahushua's talking. Yahushua talks to him and gives them encouragement. When my son rings up from jail, and, ha and has had a, a bad day or he's just he's been there for four and a half years. And my husband, Chris, has wonderful things to say to him, encouraging him and loving him and lifting him up. And he hangs out to hear and to be, to be encouraged, to be loved. And the wisdom that comes out of him is incredible. He does this for so many people. Even today when we were out, one of the salesmen that we were with, he found that he goes to a local church and told him about Yahushua. And this guy was just so excited. Everywhere he goes, he gives the message of the truth and talks about Yahushua, actually giving a revelation for the body. In these last days, for the perfecting of the saints, and yet half the bride reject. So many people reject what Chris has to say. My big problem is that I haven't wanted people to know or see my state where I'm at, how far I haven't come and what I haven't changed and have doubted and abused my husband in the process because he has gone there and overcome and stopped 
all those deceits. He stopped all those games. Girls, wouldn't you like to stop the games and have that dreadful fight and competition going on and on and on constantly with your partner, with your husband, with your friends, with your family? You're, a, you're able to get free of that. We just need to change. This process has taken us through many changes coming out of the Yahuwah only doctrine to realise Yahushua is our deliverer. This time last year, Christopher received this word from Yahushua to give to the body, which was met with dreadful rejection and horrible words and so much confusion spread around. The transforming of Yahuwah into flesh as he metamorphed into a new creation called Yahusha, flowing on to cancelling the assembly. That's what we all also got a word for, as it is part of the old shadow tradition and a mixture. So having an assembly is part of the old shadow teachings and it's a mixture. And Yahusha hates a mixture, it's idolatry. That's why he divorced Israel. He hates the mixture. Then understanding that Yahushua is now Elohim, moving on to, to go through the veil into the door to the wilderness where we are safe and can't be affected by Satan. We were given the revelation. Through Chris, we were given a revelation of the baptism of the spirit and fire. This came to us reading about John who baptised in water for repentance, but Yahushua, the one coming after, far greater baptism, gives the baptism of spirit and fire. And this is where the change needs to come, the deliverance, the overcoming, us to press on and to give up, give up the world, stop fighting. Girls, let's go there. Let's just be intense intensely fighting to get free of anything that stops us from wanting to get closer to Yahushua. Of course, there's a demonic activity there all the time saying that you can't make it, you can't do this, you're no good, you're a loser. So we understand we are given the revelation of that baptism of spirit of fire where Yahushua chooses who and when we are accepted. He chooses that. We are to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. This is where the overcoming starts, in the thoughts we let into our minds. This is where it comes and starts, the thoughts that we let into our minds. Sisters, Check those thoughts. It's very important. It's your deliverance. It's your salvation. We all need deliverance. This is the name of Yahushua. I am your deliverer. Yahushua, Elohim, is our deliverer. We all need deliverance and that is the only way out. There's no other way. The name Yahushua tells us we follow him. He opened the door, opened the veil, gave us the way, showed us how to follow him. The calling is now, sisters, but when the times get tough, many give in. Many people don't want to go and fight off the flesh because it's a hard thing going through facing what we're really like. We need to overcome the flesh and we've been given all the tools. We have his spirit and his power to be able to overcome all those habits and the, and the corrupt desires, the, the spirit that's in our flesh is what is controlling us and we need to overcome that the spirit is against the flesh and the flesh is against the spirit. Are you going to make it? Give in to Yahushua? 
fight off the world, the spirit in the flesh, beg for Yahushua's fire and deliverance. Let's get real, girls. This is not a game. Let's get real. The real thing is to overcome. Yahushua wants us to overcome the world, overcome, to be delivered, delivered from the sin that's in our flesh, the spirit that's in our flesh. There is no other way to get out, to be rescued, to be saved. There's no other escape of the control of the flesh and the self. There's no other way to eternal life. We need that victory. Sisters, come on. I want to encourage you because you can make it. Yahushua has already done it for us. His whole plan coming to earth, his whole way of coming to earth. He set everything in place. His word is there. Go to his word for your strength. Go to his word to give you the understandings of how to be set free, how to be delivered, how to change. He cry out and ask him and he will give you those answers. Thank you for listening and I hope this has been of some help for your life. Good night. Thank you.